Influence, the fine art of persuasion, the winning of hearts and minds, the grabbing of the short hairs and holding on. Santa Blanca, smart fucks that they are, figured it out. It's not enough to control the events. You have to control the story. El Cardinal, a true believer in Santa Muerte. If you're trying to influence people, it's an advantage to have God on your side. In this case, the skinny lady, the white sister, the saint of holy death, Santa Muerte herself. Because, let's be honest, there's some things even God won't do for you. El Cardinal, he's on the radio, TV, live appearances, concerts. If El Sueño controls the population through bribery and fear, El Cardinal holds them with something much more powerful, their souls. How would you like to avoid eternal damnation? Well, luckily, all you have to do is support the Santa Blanca cartel, and you will. On the other end of the public-private scale is Ramon Feliz, the narco-blogger. Don't let the quiet demeanor fool you. He's the SB social media maven. He's their digital game. A tragic case, Feliz. He used to be a serious journalist, trying to expose the cartel for the psychotic sociopathic dirtbags that they are. But they turned him. Now, he cranks out SB propaganda like his life depended on it. For his blog, for Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. If you're not into El Cardinal, you're into Feliz. They get you both ways. These two are the yin and yang of the Santa Blanca influence machine. The sacred and the profane, the public and the private, the heart and the mind.